Hi. This is uh, Matthias Dombova. Hi, this is Alex Jimlin. We have some uh, crazy voices because we just came back from the fees. We just drove all night, didn't sleep, but we were like, we need to do it, so we're here. And for once, you're not going to complain about our French accent no. because we brought a real American! Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to learn uh, Fuji and Decade today. Decade is uh, one of the oldest uh, BMX platform trips. But what we want to show you today is how to do uh, Fuji and Decade. So it's a modern variation of uh, Decade. That trick is open to all kinds of riders, BMX riders or BMX riders. I'm uh, really bad at doing Decade, so I'm going to let this guy <laughs> speak. Maybe I'll try to do a Decade for you at the end, maybe. That's going to be funny. <laughs> <gonna> be funny. <laughs> so I let this guy speak. First position would be on the back peg. Uh, and then with one foot, and then one foot ready to jam on the tire. So you have your strong foot on the peg, and the other foot that's usually in the air doing the balance is ready to like jam on the tire. Right? That's correct, yes. That's correct, sir. Sir, yes, sir! <laughs> uh, you can do this trick from a complete stop. I think it is a little bit, uh, it helps you to do a little bit of speed. Uh, slow speed helps a little bit. Um, I think the most important uh, first step uh, is just trying to get to the other side of the bike. So obviously there's a few little things to know, like the seat can't be completely slammed. It has to be a little bit uh, raised up so you can fit the foot next to the tire of the frame. Um, you want the arms to be strong, solid, so you, basically like you're holding yourself up. So basically it's this feeling. What about the legs? Should they be together or you should be in This is, um, many people do this differently. I always keep my feet together so that I'm not exposing some, some sacred area. Some people go for it with the legs apart. Really the trick of the decade isn't jumping over the bike. The trick of the decade is kind of moving the bike under you. This is really what makes the decade uh, work. You jam the foot and you boost off the tire just to get yourself in the air. Then you're, you're going to take the bar and move it under you. So basically you're going to try and jump straight up and move the bike under you and then you will be on the other side. This is the first major accomplishment of the trip. When, once you feel comfortable going on the other side of the bike, you want to like commit to like either land on your frame or on your pedal. And the problem, you're going to land on that frame or that pedal with your, the, with your strong foot, but that foot is always going to go. Like, like, God damn it, I don't understand. Like, you look easy on fucking goddamn video. Or whatever. Which is really... Uh... True fact about decade, it's not about going high that's gonna make you pull the decade, it's going fast. Yep. If you go high, you can crash. If you go pretty, not too low, but let's say medium high like this, not like that, not like that. Medium high and you go fast, you'll be okay. You, you uh, like the right foot that's gonna be back on the pedal needs to be like really quick, really fast, and that's the the key, I feel like, of the decade. That's why it's easier if your legs are together. Basically, yeah. Together. Once you figure out the fact, like, to go over and then pull it, you're back on your bike and you just pull the decade. Absolutely. And then there are so many variations you can do all over the decade. Yes. So Bo didn't sleep last night and he's going to show you <laughs> all of them. Yes! Check this out. That's the sixth episode of Can You Make It? I hope uh, you liked it as much as we did. We're going to sleep now. Merci beaucoup, mon ami. <laughs> oui, oui. See you next week.